Hello and welcome to the beautiful Baltic city of Gdynia in Poland for the Strongest Man World Record Breakers competition of 2003. This is a special gathering of eight of the world's strongest men in a competition designed to see how many strength records can be beaten over nine classic strongman events. Here are the athletes then, Marius Podzanowski from Poland. 28 years old, 150 kilograms. Zadrunas Zaviskas, he was second at World's Strongest Man behind Marius, Marius in 2002. I'm 33 years old, 2 meters tall and I weigh 150 kilos. World's Strongest Man in 1998 in Morocco, Magnus Samuelsson. My name is Anders Muromets, I come from Estonia. My height is 188 centimeters, my weight is 129. Andrus Muromets, new man to the strongman scene, the I Baltic champion. From Greenland, strongest man 2000. My weight is 130. Another world's strongest man winner from 2000 in South Africa. My name is Derek Boyer. I'm better known as the Island Warrior. I'm 34 years old. I represent Australia. Derek Boyer, current Australian champion. This is the Viking Sven Carlsen from Norway. I'm 35 years old, 132 kilo. I'm here in Gdynia to break some world records in the world record breaker 2003. And yet another world's strongest man from 2001 in Zambia, Sven Carlsen. I'm 182 centimeters, 127 kilo. Last but not least, Yarek Dimmick, second in Europe's Strongest Man in 2002 and 2003. There's Jamie Reeves, the head referee, World's Strongest Man in 1989. Next to him, Ilka Kinnanen from Finland, World's Strongest Man competitor back in the 80s. On the left there, Marcel Moster, the IFSA vice president, and the other referee, Lezek Kedzia from Poland. So what a lineup of athletes they put together here in Gdynia in Poland. And we've got nine classic strongman events, seven of which have world records. And first up, it's the farmer's walk. At 175 kilos in each hand, this is a very grueling event. There is no distance, no time, it's just as long as you can go. World record at the moment, 39 meters by Wout Zilstra. On the right, Marius Podzanowski up against Zdrunas Zaviskas on the left. Whoa, Zaviskas gone already, so Marius, the world's strongest man, shooting off into the lead. Remember, 39 meters, he's chasing. He's got that first turn at 20 meters. Oh, he's gone just over 21 meters, I'd guess. Well, he's indicating there that the grip went. Zaviskas, disappointing, one meter 48 is what the referee has judged it to be. For a man who was second in World's Strongest Man last year, that's an absolute disaster. And the word is that he seems to have hurt his back, so we'll have to see what happens in the second event. Andrus Murumuts up against Magnus Samuelsson. Now, this guy Murumuts, watch out for him. Totally new to the strongman scene, only 25 years old. Absolute dynamite from Estonia. He's up against the giant Swede. Samuelsson getting the better start. Amazing, really, considering he's so tall. Two meters, to be exact. Samuelson, once he's up, he locks out, but it, well, he's given up. 13 meters, 55 is what the referees have given him for that. Muramets, this is awesome. Going ahead of Pudzanowski, who would have guessed it? Goodness me, that is amazing. To beat Pudzanowski in any event is brilliant, but to beat him in the farmer's walk of all things, that is great news for Muramets, and he has burst onto the scene. 23-02, that's what they've given him. That is a very, very difficult mark for the others to chase now. But remember, world record, 39 meters by Wout Zilstra. And you can see the amount of strain this puts on the hands, tearing at the skin as it rips out and falls to the ground. Now, you can't lift these up a second time. This is different from many other strongman competitions where it's done for a certain distance let's say 50 meters 
and you have to complete it in 70 seconds. Ooh, this, we're going for a world record. Who can carry it the farthest in one go? Derek Boyer there with the island war paint on. The big Australian with Maori blood. Derek, brother. Yep. Up against Yanni Virtanen on the right. Virtanen suffering with some horrific back problems over the last year. But he's given up, or has he? He seems to be steadying himself again. Boyer's gone as well. The grip. Yanni Virtanen still has a chance to do it, but no, he's decided to go and have a seat instead. Well, perhaps a wise decision. If you remember World's Strongest Man last year in Malaysia, he forced it when he had an injury and completely tore his IT band off his leg. And it took a good six months to recover from that. Sven Carlsen of Norway, the great Viking. World's strongest man, 2001 in Zambia. Looking leaner and lighter than he's ever looked. Almost like a bodybuilder. Up against Jarek Dimmick of Poland. Dimmick, not tall but undoubtedly a pocket rocket so fast once he's got things up and moving. But look at Sven, former European champion of powerlifting. No problem, the 350 kilo lift off the floor there. His problem is his grip. Can Sven hold on to it? The two great friends training throughout the year together. You see Sven giving a cheeky smile over to Yarek. These two men have trained and worked hard together throughout the year. So Dimmick getting 20 meters 50, Carlson 17.91, and that was good enough to get him fourth place, but look at the two poles in second and third, but how about this guy, Andrus Muramets from Estonia. Well, it's the first time I've seen him on Eurosport, and isn't he impressive? Next up, the wait for height. Classic event from the Highlands of Scotland. 25 kilograms, 56 pounds in weight. The guys starting with a height of 4 meters, 13 feet. First man up was Jani Virtanen of Finland. Yeah, I took it. Jani. Went on to manage four meters fifty. Come on to your toes. So that's nearly fifteen feet. Jamie Reeves giving some good advice there to Derek Boyer, who hasn't done it before. Now that lump of metal doesn't look very heavy, but you have to believe me, it is so difficult. This event, incredibly technical, like all throwing events, shot put, hammer, all of the traditional athletics event, and this event deemed too heavy for the Olympic Games. Boyer crashes out at four meters he manages the opening height and no more magnus samuelson well he's up at two meters already extend his arm he must be well up over two and a half meters surely this kind of event suited to the giant good one there for samuelson That was just about right, huh? <laughs> and Samuelson managing 4 meters 75 there in his final attempt. So cutting through here, showing you what these guys did in their final go. Sven Carlsen then. He was powering it up. No problem with 4 meters. Then to 4 meters 50. Look at that. But Sven always reckons this event's a lottery for strongmen. Well, perhaps true if you're not really accomplished at the technique. Yarek Dimmick and Marius Kotzanowski, two guys that trade. Oh, goodness me. Four meters 50 made to look like two meters 50. That is incredible explosive power. Marius. Marius. Hi. Well, he's cheering Marius on. Marius out next. I've seen Marius do five meters ten with this. Well, four meters simple. Four meters fifty without ease. Or rather with ease. Jamie Reeves said giving him a last tip. This five meters and to take the lead. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck, 
No problem for the man they call the dominator in Poland. Five meters and the lead. Five meters up near 16 feet in old money. That's what they'd think in Scotland in the Highlands. But this event originated from not that long ago. 15 feet was a truly magnificent height. Here we go then, Muramets managing four meters 50. The newcomer from Estonia, so well in the farmer's walk. Still not a bad result here in the weight for height either. First time he clears four meters 50 and goes joint third with four other athletes. Marius Podzanowski though, a good 25 centimeters above the rest and now two and a half points above the others as well. Muramets chasing him in second. Samuelson after that good weight for height now in third. And to the woodcutter's walk. This event, 175 kilograms in weight, lifted off this meter high box, has to be carried just as far as you can possibly go. Now, this very much like the Husafel stone in the world's strongest man. This, however, an absolute lump of steel. And it's got to be said, Derek Boyer getting a little bit of a positioning in his belt there. Well, who would ever try that cheat? Certainly not this commentator. Derek Boyer chasing up and down this 20 meter course. Getting. Very close here now to the 60 meter mark. Battling away. Tough customer, Boyer. He's had to beat some hard guys in Australia to get to this competition. Well, magnificent for Boyer, 58.7 for the first man first out. I've ever done this event, <laughs> so no idea what to expect. And uh, you have to guess what is the best way to do it in the end. But that still a long way tough. off the 91 meters but, uh, of the world record by Marius Pudzanowski. Just keep going any way I could possibly Join go. us after the break. Welcome back to Gdynia in Poland for this, the strongest man, a world record breakers competition of 2003. Jani Virtanen from Finland out next, 62.74 meters is all the giant Finn could manage. But that a little bit ahead of who we've seen so far. And that was Derek Boyer, 58.7 meters. Then came Andrus Muramets from Estonia. He did as well as he could, 67.98, and that took the lead. Then Sven Carlsen, Viking power from Norway, 63.93. Not really too bad for Sven. He so often faints in this kind of event. Certainly in the last two years. Back in the day, I remember him in Las Vegas in 97. Absolutely tearing up the field with the Husevelt stone. Only Magnus Samuelsson beating him that day. Well. Talk about sneaking it into your belt. I think Yannick Dimmick is trying the same trick Derek Boyer did. If the weight isn't being held in his belt there, I would be very surprised. 175 kilograms, remember, this weight. Problem with it, unlike the Husafelt, very, very slippy. Once it starts to go down your chest and your arms tire, starts to slip away at least the stone of the Husafelt sticks to your body creates a lot of friction therefore a lot easier on the arms to hold well look at this 60 meters flying by will he go into the lead he's chasing 67.98 by Muramets he's certainly gone past that by a meter possibly two Referees measuring 69.05, the new leader, Jarek Demek from Poland. Two men left in the competition then, Magnus Samuelsson from Sweden, up against Marius Podzanowski, who will be going last. Look at this, absolutely sprinting off at the start. 
Unbelievable by the giant man from Sweden. What a an absolute incredible pace he set off at 40 meters knocked off easily as i said samuelson the best in vegas back in 97 those two bicep injuries he suffered over the last 18 months though have got to cause him some problems so 69 meters by yarek dimmick he's chasing 91 meters the world record how far can samuelson take this well, he's certainly not gone far enough to take the world record, but he's beaten Dimmick by at least a meter or two. Leading? Leading, leading. Good. Yeah, yeah, he's sure. leading, all right. Ilka Kinnanen giving him the nod. 71.32 meters to be exact. Bardzo lubię tą konkurencję. Jestem dobry tej konkurencji. Jeżeli mi się uda i uznam, że Marius Podzanowski saying that he likes this event very much and he's very good at it. And if you notice that my legs are strong enough, I will try and beat my own world record in this event. So Marius saying that if he feels powerful enough and his legs are up to it, he will do it. Well, I can only assume once again the bell trick has been used and Jamie Reeves has allowed this to go on because of the slippiness of this metal object. It must be part of the Polish rules. This very much a Polish event. 40 meters, no problem. 60 meters, still with ease. 91 meters to beat. So once he turns again, he'll be at the 80 meter mark. He has to go at least halfway back to be close. Go oh, he's shouting. Go on, Marius. The dominator, they call him in Poland. Easily beaten the world record. Right up. Oh, it's got to be 100 meters. It is. Unbelievable there by Marius Pudzanowski. Never ceases to impress. And those eight points will no doubt put him into the overall lead more comfortable than before yes it has 23 points magnus samuelson in second look at muramets though still holding on to a top three place good for him just half a point down from samuelson now we'll move on to the viking press one hundred and twenty kilos to be lifted as many times as is possible has to be raised to a straight arm lift and then lowered to below your chin Derek Boyer he managed seven lifts the world record in this 18 lifts by Hugo Gerard of Canada next out Yanni Virtanen from Finland well he doesn't have huge legs that's for sure but his arms and shoulders are enormous he goes ahead of Boyer Eight repetitions for Virtanen. Then came Sven of Viking Power Carlson. Once the world record holder in the log lift, always has a good account. Overhead, ten lifts for Sven. But how about Andres Muramets? There's no stopping this new guy. He manages eleven lifts. And that, unless Yarek Dimmick does something interesting, should keep him in the top three. But Yarek okay. Dimmick, a Come great on. presser overhead. Could even be the kind of guy who could put Hugo's world record under threat. Chasing 11 lifts of Muramets at the moment. Into the lead with 12 still looks strong 15 surely for Dimmick. goodness me this is unbelievable stuff 18 reps he's equaled the world record he's done it he's beaten the world record Yarek Dimmick goes on to 20 repetitions unbelievable by the pole well he says to Marius put that in your pipe and smoke it I too can have a world record today Two guys still to come then, Magnus and Marius. Let's have a quick interview with Jarek. Jestem bardzo szczęśliwy, ponieważ był to bardzo wyśrubowany rekord do tej pory przez parę lat. Jarek saying that he's very happy because it was very old, that record and hard to beat. 
It's a wonderful feeling to be a world record holder. I bet it is. Congratulations to Jarek Dimmick. Next up, Magnus Samuelsson of Sweden. What has he got to say about that? One. Two. Three. Four. Let's forget about the world record. He's already looking a little shaky. Let's look at who he's got to beat. Boyer on seven. Fiertinen on eight lifts. Carlsen on ten. Muramets on eleven. Nine. Good use of the legs by the giant Swede. Ten. Such long arms to press out with. I wouldn't envy the task with arms ten. his length. Ten, right. ten repetitions into double figures you get an idea of just how tall he is there walking past jamie reeves who's six foot three inches one meter ninety and magnus towering above him wait a minute marius jimmy this yep and then start long whistle jimmy this yep but not this i know i know well marius getting explained the rules there by jamie reeves what he's saying is it's a push press you cannot jerk the weight. In other words, once you've used your legs once, you can't then re-dip under the bar as it flies up. All very technical, really. But I can guarantee you, Jamie Reeves has a hawk eye on matters. And if Marius sneaks a cheeky rep in, he'll be caught for it. Ten repetitions flying up. This has to be as fast as Yarek Dimmick did it. Goodness me. Surely we won't see him chasing that 20 total by Yarek Dimmick. The new world record just five minutes old. Here he comes, 19 reps. Oh, goodness me, we have a joint world record holder. Well done, Marius. Well, he thinks he's got one more. Oh, he's done it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dimmick throws down the gauntlet. Marius Pudzanowski replies. Second world record for Marius Pudzanowski. Unbelievable. The Poles getting eight and seven points there. Andreas Muromets once again getting into the top three. And that sneaks him ahead of Magnus Samuelsson. 23 and a half points. But look at Dimmick leap frog it, leap frogging both of them. And rather second equal with Muromets. But Pudzanowski, what a commanding lead he has got. To the truck pool then, 24 tons of weight. And the weather has changed for the worse. It's raining rather heavily, 27.68 seconds over this difficult 20 meter course. Absolutely pouring down. Derek Boyer, not really used to this kind of weather in the hot parts of Australia he's from. But you can see the truck pulling easily down the course. Sven Carlsen then of Norway, 29.37 by Boyer, 27.68 by Yanni Virtanen. Those are the times he's chasing. Come on now, Sven, open side, up now, long legs now, long legs. Well, Sven starting with small steps there to get the initial inertia over and done with of the truck. Now into his stride, goodness me, this is impressive. 27.68, he's chasing. Hasn't done that. 20, well, up into 30 seconds there for Sven. 31.06. Not his favorite event. And he's shown us that once again. He's perhaps lacking a little body weight for this event. Ripped down about six, seven kilograms since last season. Came out storming at the start, coming second in the Arnold Classic. But since then, 2003 has been a year Sven Carlson would like to wipe away from the history books now to Magnus Samuelsson goodness me this weather is absolutely atrocious the Baltic Sea just a few yards away has lifted up and the heavens have opened Magnus Samuelsson driving for everything he's worth he is a great truck puller He's chucked down the rope, doesn't need it, just using those huge legs of his. 27.68 to beat, 27.2. Great news for Magnus Samuelsson. 
and he's no doubt pleased with that 24 tons of truck getting pulled rather easily well we've got more athletes to come in the truck pull three to be exact so join us after the commercial break Welcome back to the beautiful Baltic city of Gdynia in Poland. For this, the strongest man, world record breakers of 2003 in the beautiful city, famed for its tourism in the summer, not looking too hot at the moment. Rain absolutely pouring from the heavens. We've seen Yanni Virtanen do a time of 27.68. Magnus Samuelsson, 27.2 on this 30 or rather 24 ton truck now Andreas Muramets from Estonia well 29.95 for the new guy to the scene 25 years old and certainly looks a lot stronger than his age would suggest but of course don't forget who also is 25 years old Marius Podzanowski world's strongest man amazing really but these guys so powerful so young the hands covered in blood Ready. And that was damaged in the farmer's walk. Now, strongman is all about technique. Dimmick only 1 meter 80 and weighing in at about 125 kilos, only just under 20 stone in body weight. Now, that for a strongman, believe you me, is small. So, technique is everything for this man. Can he beat the 27.2 seconds? He's certainly going to be very close. 27.5. Samuelson holds on to the lead. Well, you can get a hold of me here, Colin Bryce, at Eurosport, if you want to email me some questions. And my address, eurosportstrongman at hotmail.com. Eurosportstrongman at hotmail.com. So... Please write in any pleasantries or any questions you have. Of course, criticisms always welcome to Marius Podzanowski then to the 24-ton truck. What can he do with this? Chasing 27.2 seconds. Certainly going to be close. Now, one of the questions I had in the emails was by Harry Flashman from London, England. And he asked, why do some trucks pull so much easier? 27 or rather 26.05 for the man from Poland yet another victory this the fourth event he's won so far and it's four out of five for Marius Podzanowski the fifth one he came second in so everything going very well for him Samuelson clawing back some useful points and that puts him in to second equal position. Muramets was second equal with Dimmick after the fourth event. And not a great truck pull there, has dropped him down into fourth position. Well, Harry Flashman, in reply to your question about the truck pull, I can say that it's down to the pressure of the tires and the slope of the truck being pulled on. If you're upper gradient, you're always going to struggle. Well, here we are to the super yoke, 20 meters in distance, 360 kilos in weight. The world record, 9.95 seconds. And how about Derek Boyer? He did it in 10.94. So close. Andreas Muramets in 13.47. There, Yanni Virtanen, the man with the bad back, only managing one meter. And that proves to you just how hard it is. His back might be bad, but he's still a former world's strongest man from 2000. And so is this guy, Sven Carlsen, world's strongest man in 2001, 360 kilos, the world record is his, 9.95 seconds, how close can he get to it, certainly a wannabe Boyers, 10.94, it's going to be very tight, it's going to be very tight, 10.85 seconds, the time given there to Carlsen. and just 0.14 of a second into the lead ahead of Boyer. 10 seconds. Well, I think Dimmick could be a threat. Certainly, Pudzanowski is always a threat. Samuelson will be going second last. I can't see him at his height being much of a threat in this event. 
Let's see what Dimit can do. 360 kilos, an unbelievable weight, somewhere in the region of 60 stones, 13.54 seconds. So he's off the pace. Off the pace, but still good enough to give him fourth place at the moment behind Muramets. Now to the penultimate man. It's Magnus Samuelsson from Sweden. Look at the scar on his left arm there, zigzagging down his forearm. That's from that bicep, or certainly one of the bicep injuries I was discussing earlier. Now Samuelsson at two meters tall, and another man with a bad back does not enjoy this kind of event, certainly will not want to drop this and have to pick it up again. If he can get it over the line safely. Oh, this is bad news for him. He's really going to struggle to get it over. Best he can do is just push it. It is over, right? all over the line. Oh, this is disaster for him. Ilka Kinnanen. Speaking with Magnus there, now that looked confrontational, but believe you me, these guys are all good friends and old friends, might I add, on the strongman scene. They've all known each other, certainly Ilka and Magnus, for a decade now on the very top level of strongman. Marius Podzanowski chasing 10 seconds. Oh, it's a disaster. He set off so fast. Surely it was going to be another world record for him. Oh, what a disaster, Pudzanowski, making all kinds of mistakes, 17.53, and I think the face says everything. You won the York race, is it your favorite event, do you like this event? Yeah, I only lost the York race two times in my whole career, so it's my favorite event, yeah. Uh, are you satisfied with the result? You are the uh, world record holder. Uh, it, it was okay for today because it's the uh, first time I've done with this yoke race, with this apparatus, and uh, we already done five events, so it was pretty good, I think. Yes, indeed, Sven Carlsen almost never beaten in this event. Really, such a great all-round athlete, but I think Marius, to be fair, had he not made so many mistakes, would have been chasing him down there. Well, that result for Derek Boyer pulls him out of the relegation zone, up to 20 points. Good news for him. Pudzanowski, though, starting to look like he might not be caught. That's after six events, so we've got three still to go. And to the crucifix, and this event is just about as horrible as the name suggests. World record, 1 minute 24 with 12 and a half kilos in each hand. That's around 28 pounds. Birtanen managing 1 minute 15, so just 9 seconds off his own world record. Magnus Samuelsson doing a very respectable time, 58.43 seconds. And he already looks like he's ready for Miller time. He's having a laugh. Marius Podzanowski then, holding on, trying to use his deltoids and his chest by leaning back so much. But bad news, 57 seconds was the slowest so far. Jarek Dimmick, 70.38, so one minute 10.38. Put him into second position. Andres Muramets finished third in the super yoke. And the competition always goes in reverse order of the last event, which means Boyer will be followed by Carlson. Muramets then knows what he's got to chase. In his mind, he'll won at least a minute. But like all these strong men, especially a young guy like Muramets, cocky, he'll no doubt want that world record. Amazing, look at the crowd here in Poland, still staying on through the driving rain. It's got to be said, Poland has to be one of the homes of strongman. Finland, Iceland, no doubt Great Britain and America, but Poland in the last few years 
has really adopted this sport. And Marius and Yarek, big stars there. Miramets, 66.76 seconds. That gives him a result good enough for third position at the moment. Now, Derek Boyer in that last event took seven points, second in the super yoke. He managed to get himself into third last position. So he's ahead of Yanni Virtanen, but just by a few points. And Virtanen in the lead in this event. So Derek Boyer will want to try and keep close to Virtanen. If you're unsure of the rules, all you have to do is keep straight arms and keep touching those metal plates. If you don't touch the plates once, you'll probably get a warning from Jamie Reeves, the referee, or if you don't unbend your arms, you may get a warning. As soon as you start you pulling in. Tell me. Hold on. 30. You can see Boyer starting to twitch. The face showing the discomfort and the lactic acid in his shoulders. He'll want to get close to that minute to keep ahead of Virtanen. Well, that is hugely disappointing. 47-41, the worst so far. Funny thing is, you'd think this event would really suit the men with shorter arms. But look at Virtanen, up at 1 meter 97, incredibly long-armed. Samuelson putting a time near a minute. Okay, the stand. tallest man with the longest arms. Well, I think biomechanics don't really make sense. A lot of this crucifix event comes down to mind over matter. And what can Sven produce here? He won the last event, the Super Yoke. I was speaking with Sven's wife just the other day, and she was telling me Sven has struggled to gain inspiration this season. Now 36, he's just about won every title there is to offer in Strongman. But Sven's a tough guy, and if he's going to compete, he'll do his best. Oh, the strain really showing now, though. You can see that right arm starting to bend. I can see Jamie Reeves raising that whistle. Yeah. He's blown him up. 52.38 is all that Sven Carlson gets. So Derek Boyer there in seventh. The result he did not want. Yanni Virtanen though, good for him. Getting his first win on the board. Dimmick, tough guy. He managed to get seven points, which caused him that little bit closer to Marius Pudzanowski, and who knows, maybe Pudzanowski can be caught. To the Atlas Stones, the penultimate event here in Gdynia. 120 kilos up to 180 kilos, six stones, all together. Sven Carlson then, he managed to beat Derek Boyer. Boyer, only three stones. Carlson did four. Disappointing for a man who once held the world record in this event. Baden horse record down at 23 seconds. So these guys are gonna have to fight hard. Now Magnus Samuelsson, holds the world record with the Atlas stones at the world's strongest man, where the five stones are lifted onto high platforms. 26.01 was not good enough to threaten Badenhorst's record. So it's down to Marius Pudzanowski. Andres Muramets and Yarek Dimmick also left. Look at this, the way he puts them on. Such a great event, the Atlas Stones. So technical as well. You really have to get your hands in the right place. It takes a lot of practice to get this event right. Believe you me, it's not just a man with a strong back. Can he get close to it? Well, it's not 23 seconds. 
It's 24.99, and that's good enough for first so far. Marius has two world records from this competition so far. The woodcutter's walk gave him his first world record at 100 meters. Then in the Viking press, after a world record from Yarek, he went and did 21 reps with 120 kilos. Well, look at Andreas Muramets. This is impressive by the young man. How close can he get to Marius's time of 24.99? Muramets losing time badly on this sixth stone. Well, all he gets is four. Welcome back to Gdynia in Poland for this, the strongman world record breakers of 2003. Jarek Dymik from Poland then onto the Atlas Stones. 24.99, the time to beat by his compatriot, Marius Pudzanowski. On to the final stone. This is going to be a good time. Oh, disaster strikes. Oh, why doesn't he give it another go? Well, I guess I think he's seeing stars at the moment. Not too sure on his feet. And Yarek, rather than falling with the ball, has decided to leave it. And that means then that Marius Pudzanowski is the winner of the Stones as well. So yet another victory for the mighty pole. And by my calculations, the overall results now, eight points being the maximum, should put him into a lead big enough that it's, he's uncatchable. Yes, yes, Yarek Dimmick can win the final event, but Marius just has to come last and get one point, and he will be the winner. So Marius has taken this competition. But not before we go to the power stairs and through the formality of the final event. Three weights in the power stairs, 225 kilos through to 280 kilos. Derek Boyer on the left, up against Sven Carlsen on the right. Carlsen has had enough after 11 steps. Derek Boyer says, I've flown all the way from Australia. I'm going to darn well do my best. And 10 steps is all he can do. So a night in Gdynia for those two gentlemen after results that will not particularly please either of them. Andres Muramets on the right from Estonia up against the giant Swede Magnus Samuelsson. So Yanni Virtanen has retired. So too has Zdruna Saviskas retired after the first event with a bad back. So two bad backs. So we're down to six guys. And let's have a quick look at the points here for Samuelsson. It's very tight indeed. Samuelsson on 44 and a half points. Dimmick on 47 and a half. Muramets on 42 and a half. So Samuelsson really has to chase Muramets here to stay in the lead. He's got two points on him at the moment. And Muramets very close to putting this final one on. And that will cause Samuelsson all kinds of problems. Goodness me, no one so far has put that weight on. Samuelson, realizing that he's in a bit of a fix here on the left, has decided to give it another go if he's going to hold on to that podium position. Well, these guys have 90 seconds in which to do it, and Samuelson making a wise decision to go for it. Can he get it up that final step? He needs it. He needs it badly. Well, the referee's not going by time, only by the volume of steps. And that is great news for Samuelson. He's guaranteed himself third place. And Muramets 
goes into a guaranteed fourth as well. Now it's all down to Yarek Dimmick as to who gets second and who gets third. Pudzanowski has already taken the victory. So for Pudzanowski, all he has to compete for is a bit of pride. And of course, he loves to show off to his Polish fans just how good he is. And he is unstoppable at this event. Look how high he pulls that weight. 500 pounds, 225 kilos, like it's nothing. Pudzanowski dominating this. His nickname, the Dominator, so apt. Up goes the final weight then, 280 kilograms, 650 pounds. Can he be the first man to finish it? This is the time for fatigue. Can he get the last one on? Yes, he's done it again. Pudzanowski proves he truly is the world's strongest man at the moment. Winning the record breakers of 2003. Yarek Dimmick knows he's got to do this. He's got to go ahead of Samuelson to hold on to his second position. This final step, so important. He's got 30 seconds in which to do it. And he's feeling cocky, chatting with his friend. Good on him, he's managed it. 1-2 to Poland. Well, if you watched Eurosport two weeks ago, you'd have seen the same result at Europe's Strongest Man. And here they are doing it again. So, Pudzanowski, 36.87 seconds. Dimmick, 64.45. What a monumental battle that power stairs was. So, Virtanen and Zavikas fall injured. Bad news for them for the rest of the season. Pudzanowski gets the maximum eight points from this, the ninth event. And the podium places. Bronze goes to Magnus Samuelsson. The trip from Sweden, very worthwhile for the former world's strongest man of 1998. Did well in the Viking press. Knocked out. 11 repetitions there and the woodcutters walk also with that. Of course, did well. I, to be honest when i came here i, I pretty much knew that mario is going to be very hard to beat so i was aiming hard to, to beat the uh, dimac and then we, we had a good fight he was on top of me sometimes and i was chasing him and in the end i did some bad uh, race with the oak and uh, he, he got me but uh, i enjoyed it it was a good funny contest and i hope i can come back sometime and hopefully take revenge well, Yarek Dimmick will be perhaps angry at himself for the wait for height. Possibly could have done better there. But everything else seemed to be pretty good. Maybe the Atlas Stones, if he hadn't have fainted somewhat here and struggled, he could have challenged for the number one slot. But still, second place out of this field is incredible. And he was the world record holder in the Viking press, even if it was just for a couple of seconds. And he's saying that he beat a few personal records today. He won second place. Wasn't sure that he was going to be second. The first day wasn't good for him. The second day of events, the last four events, were good for him. And to beat Magnus Samuelsson is a great honor. So he's happy. But what about Marius Podzanowski? Just absolute lunatic power. Just so crazy, so explosive and still only 25. I think we've got another decade of domination by the Dominator. Saying there that I'm very happy. It's not a bad result for me at all. I'm training to be the best at the World's Strongest Man, and I'll be going to Zambia very soon for the World's Strongest Man competition. So, Marius Podzanowski, what a physique. What a man, and yet another record here at Eurosport. Well, that's all from me, Colin Bryce. Hope you've enjoyed this competition from Gdynia in Poland. Two world records and a convincing win for Marius. Join me next time on Eurosport for more strength action. Goodbye.